coming November 4th, Cape citizens will be asked to uh, extend our existing fire tax uh, for an additional 21 years. Uh, in 2004, citizens uh, put their trust in the, in the uh, city to um, move public safety forward through the use of a, of a fire tax. Now, fire tax is uh, what state statute allows us to spend the money on, and, and that's strictly fire. Uh, what we did in 2004 and what we're asking voters to do in 2014 is to take the money that's freed up through the uh, use of a fire tax, uh, to free up that money up and put it into a public safety trust fund, uh, which then accomplishes the promises that were made uh, with the tax. Now, in 2004, uh, we made uh, promises of uh, additional operating things, and that was from that half of half of it, or the eighth cent that was permanent. Uh, that's what was done with that, and that continues to go forward with that. Uh, the other eighth, the other eighth of a cent, uh, was used for facilities and for uh, vehicles uh, and apparatus, and and that is the portion that is being voted on for extension. Uh, in November. So what's our plan for that uh, for that eighth of a cent this time? Well half of it, the half that we're going to use for um, for equipment and uh, police cars and for uh, fire apparatus is going to be essentially the same as it was in 2004. As those uh, vehicles, as those uh, fire engines uh, wear out, uh, we, we have to replace them and so it's really keeping that fresh and going on and go moving forward with that. Uh, the other half, which is uh, for facilities, will be used on new, on new uh, projects. Um, the projects are, first of all, replacing the small neighborhood fire station at Curry Lane, which is just, on, just opposite of Ford Groves on Kings Highway. Um, replacing that for a, a new modern station that will actually hold the equipment that we're purchasing to put in it and uh, will provide the needs uh, going into the future. Um, fire Station 1, which is our busiest fire uh, station, uh, needs a total up upgrade of the uh, offices as well as uh, the, the quarters and, uh, and, and some of the, the apparatus bays. Then Fire Station 2, which is out uh, by the mall, back behind the mall on Mount Auburn Road, uh, we need to expand that to include a maintenance bay uh, where we actually maintain the apparatus and extends the life of it and um, we found that we need a permanent bay for that as well as more space and, a, and an update of that fire station. Uh, so that's what it does for fire and then uh, the monies that will be left with that can fund about four million dollars worth of the police station. We've had lots of meetings about uh, the need for a police station. I think it's been pretty well documented well, this is the last piece, this $4 million, that will allow us to build an essentially an $11 million police station uh, that the study says that we need. Well, actually it said we did a $13 to $15 million dollar, dollar, uh, police station, but we have brought those numbers down to $11 million through value engineering and other, other things. So that's, that's what the money is used for. You might ask, well, how are we going to play for a police station? Well, the rest of that will come from restaurant tax, of which we have an agreement with, to use a portion of that. We will provide about $4.2 million, and then $2.8 million will come from our casino funds. We'll be, uh, as, as we pay as we go with that, we believe we can allocate $2.8 million to uh, make up the, in, the entire amount of $11 million to build the police station. When we began to look at that, we also began to see some things that also needed to happen with, with uh, public safety. One of them was radio interoperability, so we're taking some innovation funds out of, out of our casino funds to pay for that, about $600,000, a little over $600,000 to match some state monies for that. And then uh, we're also going to spend some money on the security of our uh, emergency operations center. So those are important things that are going to happen. Again, we're asking for citizens vote to vote on November 4th regarding this proposal. It's going to be this, on the second page of the ballot, and uh, we just encourage everyone to get out and to, and to vote regarding this important subject.